Kia ora team, Sandy here. Right, now with the Clever Touch, you see those little arrows on the side of the Clever Touch there on the homepage? Click on there, you'll get the menu of what you can select. So well, let's start at the top. Okay, whiteboard. Pretty simple. Touch there and you've got the whiteboard. Now you've got the options of writing whatever you want. You've got the hand there at the bottom there so you can start moving around, shrink things, move things. Have a play. It's quite exciting the things you can do on there. The second one down is files. So what do you expect with files you can find things in them and you can store things in them the next one down is browser so with the browser you can go in and have a look at anything it's browsing time yes so you can go to google or yahoo yahoo is that still around go to google have a look around at things that you might want to be putting on there to show people to tell people a story or to give them some information or maybe just youtube clips so people can sit there and watch things so the Clever Store has been curated for education. Lots and lots of apps that you can use for teaching, which is great. Have a look around and see what sort of educational apps you could use. It could be language, it could be maths, science, it could be, um, it could be some of the tech areas. Active. Now this one's pretty simple. You go here to find out what windows are active. And like any Windows device, if you have lots of windows open and lots of activities, it will slow down what you're doing. So it may pay to go back to active every now and then and close some windows. You can also use the active to be able to go in and select something that you want to split screen. So now you've got the split screen. Whiteboard one side, browser the other. Lock is pretty simple. At the end of your session, press that and that takes you out of what you're doing. Locks it down for the next person to log in and start their session. The apps near the bottom there, open that up and that'll tell you what apps are available right now on the board. Plus it could be some of the educational apps like this one here, which I've put into favorites. So in favorites, I've got Snowflake. I may have shown this to you before. Snowflake will give you the opportunity to go into some learning that someone has done and designed around the world and put into Snowflake. This is a software that thousands of teachers use. And when you go in, you'll see. So as you select an age group, you'll be able to see thousands of lessons to go through with whoever you've got in your class. So this is just some basics. So let's just go through that again. At the top, you've got the whiteboard, files, next, browser, clever store, active, lock, apps, and favorite. There you go. Go in, have a play, and enjoy. If you want to see more on this, tell me the subjects you want to cover, and I'll get something done for you and send it through.